on they this stuff. No, come on. I know that, but check this out. This they mad because they ain't the only one. Oh, they not the only one? Yeah, no. Shit, I make sure of that. She took my ass trick. You the only one. No, you ain't rich not no more. I quit. I quit. I quit, nigga. I resigned. We're being a sucker. So, here's the deal. This is uh, Leo season. I'm in a predicament again with these folks for the last 10 years, this government, me doing it God's <laughs> way, then me, me fighting the farm because I've been growing food and I've noticed that we got people that been pretending and acting like they're <clears throat> hipping and they're not hipping. And they've been the cause of the problem. So this year, my court cases are after my birthday, and I'm still not in a stable position, but I'm not scared because I got a plan. And if you want to know what the plan is, get ready to listen because it's real easy. Next Sunday, I, uh, I thought it was the 10th, but uh, next Sunday is the, the, uh, the 11th. Sunday dinner. Uh, my birthday, Leo, I got a, a couple of friends in the neighborhood uh, who are born during that time. They actually take care of stuff in the neighborhood. Nate, uh, uh, the master mechanic uh, who been there, he's, he's 62 uh, this year. His birthday party, he kept having to put out. So I said, man, let's just do it uh, here on this day. Mine's on the 7th coming up. Then we got Sydney over there. Uh, 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 born in August and he take care of everybody yard grass and stuff and there's many many more so here's an opportunity for people to actually come by that's why I'm here with Lonnie B. King right now I had to come tell him because I'm getting a fly you made up and it's an old school car show fundraiser for my elementary school garden my uh, junior high school garden and my high school garden it's gone. We're going back to school, so back to school, uh, adopt a school. So uh, the urban farmer is going in planting <laughs> gardens. And so I'm going to be taking donations so, uh, all the way up uh, this month. You know what I'm saying? Because school going to be the start, and I need to get in these schools right away. You got to cash out? Uh, we, got, we got a QR code that's going to be going to uh, Urge Co-op Plus. This is this how easy it is. All you got to do is do it in your neighborhood with your... Because there's people that know me that don't live in my neighborhood. And I got enough people in my neighborhood to take care of my school garden. So the deal is, if Fifth Ward is taken care of in that area, then we need we got Sunnyside, we got Third Ward, we got Acres Home, we got the north side of town, uh, Homestead, we got uh, 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 Mesa... And tip well, you know, I got I got places that I got partners. So what I'm doing is inviting all my partners to the birthday bash, Leo celebration, get down, uh, show your skill, trades, and talent. And I'm here with Lottie B. King, uh, with cause we've been doing the inner city tour with the Sunday dinner anyway. So uh, I'm asking all my friends to come out. All you gotta do is let me know. Uh, when you bring in your team out, what you bring in, but what I do know is like the day of Pentecost on, on Sunday, we're going to have enough and have plenty of stuff for everybody. I was already called today, and, and I'm going to tell you, the words that they use to describe themselves, I wouldn't describe them as that, but they are the very words that people use all the time. But they told me, man, what are we doing for your birthday? I got a crew of people ready to get down, and I know all my friends and family, so I want to share the celebration of me being here 60 years that racism is over with. No longer should we be looking at that because we have a presidential race that's going on, and then they even talking about men and women. And at the end of the day, they talking about black men and black women, so the race thing got to be over with. It don't matter who's who. This country is made up of more than just black and white folks. At the end of the day, you know, you got Hispanics, Chinese, Vietnamese, Puerto Rican, uh, Jamaicans, Africans, uh, African American, niggas, Negroes, and you know, you just got all this mixture of Cubans, 
uh, Venezuelans, uh, uh, from all over. People speak all kind of different languages, depending on what language you speak as far as, you know, you know and character. But what I do know is what's universal is food. So I'm installing gardens. So we have what we call the Urge Co-op. Urge Co-op is another thing. We're going to have a QR code for, uh, for that because that's investing in uh, the properties too because I'm, I'm inviting non-profits non-pro- uh, to partner with me when it comes to this land, sharecropping, farming, teaching, training, uh, uh, hydroponics, aquaponics, everything that's about us sustaining what we need to sustain our health, our mind, our body, and our spirits. And not only that, but I am the last of the baby boomers, 1964. Check the records. I'm telling y'all, it's time for us to pass it on. The baby boomers had to give it up, not to the Generation X, but Generation X got to be ready to pass it on to their children, because this is about your children's children. And we had an opportunity now. I figure uh, I wasn't planning no being here 60 years. Now I've been here 60 years. That the key of life is laid before me in the garden. Therefore, I'll probably be around another 40, 50 years. Who knows? But at the end of the day, I do have a plan to actually be here and to train and to teach this technology. So through these decades that we have been through, but I say seasons, Winter, summer, spring, and fall, you know what I'm saying? Everything uh, will harvest at the time that it's time for it to be, and you have to be prepared. And we don't have to make this up, but what we have to do is repeat it over and over again until, you know, it's time to go. So at the end of the day, you know, we have to leave. Uh, I want to leave here with people in better position, not having to recreate and restructure. And what they have us doing, especially when it comes to the political races, is always a squabble. So right now we have the, our precinct chairpersons is going to actually pick the person who's going to take Sheila Jackson Lee's position. And uh, that's going to be funny to actually see who they decide. And then they'll be up for the election, uh, you know, for next year to see who's going to uh, finish out the rest of that term. So... Stay tuned, but uh, Fifth Ward, that is 4500 Liberty Road, where I grew up at, right down the street from the crib. So uh, we're inviting all politicians who run it. Hi, come by, drop a donation. Guess what? Because if you ain't giving towards the people that's over there, they're going to know for sure because you didn't show up. Man, I don't know what to tell you because it ain't just me going to be there gonna be a whole lot of other people and I know I'm telling people it's family reunion time and all that so people gonna be calling and asking me to do stuff it's gonna be political because it's gonna I'm gonna show people that it's God's way or the government way all you gotta do is pick a side I've been fighting these people to form all I'm doing is growing food and if you grow food you grow in the kingdom of God so I say peace love in your heart and mind I gotta go I came by to see the uh Lonnie Bikin, so if y'all want to uh, come by and uh, during the time that he going to be there, whatever time he decides he going to run that uh, show, he'll let you know. And you come by and do that. You know, we got other organizations, you know, that I got to <coughs> ask because I'm asking people, bring your crew. You know, y'all come at the time that y'all want to come. So y'all can sit down and enjoy uh, taking care of community and learn from what we do over there on Libby Road. You know, I grew up on Kirk Street, you know what I'm saying? So, and then all you big ballers out there, y'all know, shot callers, throw that cash down. Come on, throw some cash down. And you ain't don't even have to wait. Matter of fact, man, my, I got a Zelle account. I need to check and see what my Zelle is. Because, you know, y'all can start sending me. This is the one time you can collect money, you ain't got to report to the government. Did you know that? On your birthday? Because they pin all that money. Do y'all report that money? I guarantee if you give me something. I report it if you want me to. If you want to receive it or whatever, I got non-profits for you to donate to. And what makes this easy is every non-profit can collect money based upon that in that community that the urban farmer is going to help do a school garden. And I'm not doing just doing no school garden. It's an outdoor classroom. Not only that, I'm teaching entrepreneurship. I'm teaching the science, STEM, and I got qualified people around me that's willing to share. Uh, in that and it show and tell is what it is so uh, that's what I'm going to be doing is demonstrating uh, what I want to bring around uh, everywhere and uh, lining no ideas so stay tuned peace